Welcome back to landscaping. Today we've been hired to build a gravel pad for a triaxle toy hauler. I'm heading over to the shop this morning in the 2020 F-250. Last night before I left the shop I did get all the equipment loaded up. We will be using the Kubota track skid loader along with the 2020 Ram and the dump trailer. It's just over 72 degrees this morning and should warm up to just around 83, which will be pretty good. Let's head into the office, grab the keys, and head on out. Now midway through the job, we will have to head over to a local supplier with a dump trailer and pick up two tons of gravel. I got the keys here to the ram and let's take a look at the setup. So far this landscaping season we've been very busy, job after job, lawn after lawn, and we will uh, be continued uh, to be this busy for the next few months. But here's the setup, the 2020 Ram 3500 Cummins Dually uh, with the, the Gooseneck trailer, the Kubota, and we do have the Rototiller and the Bucket on uh, the trailer as well. Let's get these garage doors opened up and let's head on out. Now this customer here, we do actually mow weekly for them. They just bought a toy hauler uh, just about a month ago for this upcoming season and already uh, they are having mud, weeds, and everything grow around it. And uh, that's why they hired us today. This gravel pad will be perfect and we'll get those tires out of the mud and it is one expensive toy hauler as well. Right there seems to be good. We'll get this door closed and uh, we'll make our way over there. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has so far been pretty good. Now this is one of our first jobs, getting to use the ram as well for a much bigger job uh, than just going out mowing, which is also pretty exciting. Our 04 F3 dump truck has been a workhorse here for the company and I actually do plan on buying another dump truck soon as well to go along with the dump trailer and I think we might go with maybe a brand new dump truck so if you do have any ideas for that please let me know. Now the Kubota skid steer is probably on the big side for today but uh, we, I always want to use the Kubota as much as we can especially with the tracks we won't tear up the yard as much. Now today I am using the Logitech uh, steering wheel in the control panel and so far really am enjoying it. But here we are, yes we are going to be parking the opposite direction here on traffic. We'll get the strobe lights going on the Ram and I will actually show you guys that really quickly. Some pretty cool features about this Ram. So not only uh, can we use hazard lights but we also have strobes up front here. That's so cool. I wish all of our trucks had uh, strobes like that. But let's take a full walk around here on the job and then we'll get going here now we do have to move the toy hauler with the ram uh, which should be pretty easy so here it is it's a triaxle and look at that a lot of mud a lot of dirt all the way around it and some weeds growing so why don't we get the trailer unloaded and uh, then we'll move this out of the way I did ask the homeowner to leave it there just so that I could get a general idea on uh, how he wants it let's hop here in the Kubota And it looks like we do have the bucket here on it first, so I think for now uh, we will probably just put this in front of the garage, or I think that's probably the place to put it. Right there seems to be good. Now I am working on getting a new microphone here within the next month, month and a half, and I cannot wait for that. It should definitely improve the audio quality here of these videos. And finally, let's get the rototiller. We'll be using this to rip up all that grass, and then we'll put the gravel down. Perfect. Now the steering wheel and uh, panel so far has really improved uh, my gameplay and I've really, really uh, been enjoying it. So I think right here looks to be good. We'll keep the uh, Kubota on since we'll be using it here shortly. We'll get that lower down and let's uh, get uh, the Ram ready to go here. Perfect. So we'll fold that back. And really quickly I will deactivate those straps there and let's disconnect it. 
tailgate down and perfect. I really do like this uh, truck a lot. Really am excited uh, to have it here in the fleet. And more than likely, we might be buying a 2020 Ram dump truck if you guys would like. It's going to be a bit pricey, but uh, I think that'll be great. So let's see. We'll back up uh, and we should have the proper size hitch on the truck. And let's raise that up really quickly. Perfect. And let's get attached. We'll let the jack uh, go up there. We don't want to damage the jack. And let's uh, get it moved. I think we'll just put it in front of the garage door for now. And we'll move it back once we're done. So when the customer gets back from work, he'll come home uh, to a nice gravel pad uh, completed by us. Yeah, there should be just enough room here. And then we'll back it up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. And we'll get that drop there. So we got that out of the way. Let's get the truck attached back up and we'll kind of move it a little bit further back. I am striving to be as realistic as possible. We'll kind of role play it the best I can. And I am really, really excited for what's to come. Perfect. We'll tailgate up and let's get this backed up here. Right here seems to be good. We'll just kind of get it turned off here for now. And let's get going here on the road till. And wow, this is one pretty cool toy hauler. Definitely would like uh, to own one one day. Now, let's see. Getting this turned on here will be a little tricky, but I don't think we'll have a problem. So let's see. We'll put it in float mode and we'll get it turned on. All right, so we do have it turned on here. We'll go a little bit more, and right there seems to be good. So we got the road tiller all ready to go, and we'll get this backed up. Looks like we will have to get a little bit closer to uh, the house, and yeah, it should not be too hard. I really do enjoy doing these landscaping lawn care videos here. I've been doing them for quite a long time, and I do plan to do a lot more of these as well. Some pretty cool jobs and projects coming up. And I do have some multiplayer videos to come here in the works as well, with some farm uh, sim YouTubers as well. But this summer will be a pretty epic one here for the channel. I hope everyone is excited for the summer months. It's going to be a lot of fun here. And right there seems to be good. Now, I, I would kind of like to curve this. Let's see if we can give that a try. It might be a little tricky, uh, but uh, let's see if it's possible. Really want to try to curve it to the driveway as best we can. Right there seems to be good. And we'll just get this little touch there. So I think that's the best we can do. And let's see. Can I back up? Really don't want to rip up the driveway. It's always a little tricky to use this. And let's see. So right there seems to be good here. Let's actually get this turned off. And we'll actually see if we can get this disconnected here. Let's see. Can we put it to the side? Actually, we'll put it in front of the toy hauler for now since we have to get loaded up. And actually, I think we'll just leave the skidsy right here for now. Let's get this turned off. Let's hop in the commons and let's head over and get the gravel. So I decided to go with three quarter inch gravel with a little bit of stone dust mixed in. And it, uh, we are paying a pretty good amount. Really, really do like the strobe lights here on this. Just looks so, uh, so neat. And let's see, can I get those turned off? Perfect. It's just around the corner here, so I thought it would be a nice thing to add to today's video. And here we are. We'll get those strobe lights back on, and uh, we should be able to back in here no problem. Now, I believe it is just around $15 a ton here, so it's pretty affordable to get uh, gravel at this supplier. Always try to find the cheapest place in town for our uh, clients and also to have the max uh, profit for us. Right there seems to be good. Let's hop on out and let's get loaded. Now we will be using a JCB telehandler here, kind of a small uh, wheel loader. I really do like the size of it. One of my favorites here in the game, but it would be nice to get maybe a small cat wheel loader. That would be pretty cool. Let's do this here in first person. You really get to use that joystick feature on the control panel. 
the steering wheel definitely increases the realism for uh, wheel loaders like this that uh, pivot in the center for turning. So four bucket loads will be two tons and uh, that's probably all we'll take, yep. Three more. That Cummins looks so sweet here. One of my favorite trucks in the game uh, and it's awesome that it's a regular cab. Now we did buy a plow with it, so upcoming winter, uh, once the uh, landscaping season is over, we'll be putting it to work as well, uh, pushing a lot of stone. We'll probably put a salter in the back as, as well. That can definitely be perfect. So one more after this, and then uh, we got the two tons. We might have a little bit of gravel left over, which is good in a way. Uh, we could probably s uh, spread a little bit thicker in some areas. Perfect. Look at that. Let's see if we could reach and kind of dump it on the other end of the trailer to make it a little bit better uh, for weight distribution. And there we go there. So two tons. I believe this trailer can handle upwards of four tons as well, which is nice. And I think we might add a bumper pole dump trailer here to uh, the company. I think that might be one of the next upgrades. But we got it all loaded up. And let's head back over to a job. It's also uh, just cool to have those strobe lights on. Really want to kind of use them even more. This truck looks so cool there, especially towing a nice heavy trailer load. It looks great. Now, like I have touched upon, there might be a little bit of background noise due to the steering wheel in uh, panel, but hopefully I can get all that worked out here. Let's get all these lights back on, and let's get this uh, backed in. I might try that trick uh, to speed this up a little bit uh, more, a little bit faster as well. So let's see. Keep, keep going, and we do have to watch the corner of the house there. And look at that, guys, just going to clear the house pretty good. But we do have to watch the roof line now for when we unload, so we'll have to keep that in mind. But if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day over there some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And if you are new uh, to the uh, channel here, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. My goal is 100,000 subscribers. We are gaining, gaining, and I can't wait. So we'll see if we get unloaded here. Don't want to unload too, too much, and we'll just keep going here. And I'll make a pile, so a little, little bit more. And right there seems to be good. So it looks to be good. We'll start with that and we'll just see how much more we need to get. Let's switch over to the bucket and get going. Now I did decide to take the bucket without teeth. And I thought that that would be a little bit easier to uh, kind of grade with. Oh, looks like we did leave a pretty good amount uh, here, so that will be helpful. We got that attached. Really do like those auto arms. Those really are helpful. Perfect. Looks like I did unload just a little bit too much in one area. And let's see, we should be able to get the Kubota out. And let's see if I could scoop a little, just a little bit of this up. I have noticed that when I am on the pedals, sometimes it doesn't want uh, to engage reverse or drive until I kind of completely kind of reset it, repress the pedal, and I might have to turn, stop, and go off. So I'll have to look into that, but wow, look at this. This job is getting pretty close to uh, completion. Yeah, so I'm trying to put it in reverse, and it just really doesn't want to go. Hopefully I could get that worked out. Before we kind of continue spreading, let's see if we could drive on this for a few minutes here and see if that helps. Oh yeah, that's already spreading out quite a lot. And having a bucket load as well kind of helps. Drive over that. Wow, surprised we didn't get stuck right there, but uh, definitely nice to just use this uh, machine to get it all compacted. 
and I don't think we will have to unload any more there so we'll bring the rest of it back to the shop and we'll just kind of keep it at our uh, stockpile uh, for future jobs and we won't charge a customer for uh, the uh, buckets and load we didn't use. Wow, that was actually pretty simple here. We do have to uh, I'll probably put a bucket or two back into uh, the uh, trailer. Let's see if we can scrape up just a little bit more of this pile. Yes, yeah, so we'll put this in uh, the trailer. Sometimes I unload a little bit too much, and that's okay at times. It's good to have extra and uh, not have enough. We should be able to, un uh, to load it in right this way. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. But I really do like the... Uh, dump trailers here not only can you haul equipment to the job site but you could haul uh, materials and you don't have to shovel them out that's just such a cool feature I'm really uh, getting better and better here with this which is awesome as well it's a big improvement uh, for me and it, it will just take a little bit of time but that's pretty much it here for today and I think to end today we have to see what it looks like uh, with that here in place so I get the uh, bucket disconnected on the grass and let's move that out of the way. Really want to see it, and uh, that way we can get loaded up after. Perfect, so we'll just move this to the side. And right there seems to be good. Perfect. And let's see if we get backed up here. Really not too much room here to get backed up uh, with that uh, first person. If you really would like a backup camera, that would be a pretty cool thing. But once again, I am having a little bit of problem with the st uh, stop and go here. So hopefully I can get that worked out uh, for the next video. But this upcoming weekend, we do have some pretty cool things with the Homeowner Series. I hope everyone is excited for Oh, look at that weight difference. The back end really sits low uh, with the uh, toy hauler on the back. Let's see if we get this maneuvered over without having to readjust too many times. Oh yeah, we'll be able to get it on the first try. A little close to the house, so let's see. Perfect, right there at the roof line. Did a pretty good job. And uh, almost there into place. Right there seems to be good. We'll get it dropped. And I think that concludes it here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's landscaping video. Getting uh, to use the Kubota, the dump trailer, and the ram to build a gravel pad here for the toy hauler. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And to subscribe for more.